It looks pretty spectacular when fire is shooting out of their eyeballs, when they're falling. But that was it. I went in there to break the trance, to say, I'm not putting up with this. That's what Donald Trump's doing, is getting outside the box. Everything is about keeping us in the box, saying, be mild-mannered, be nice. That's how you win. That's how you get attention. But that's not how you win. That's not how you get attention. They want you to act like that, thinking the fake candidates, Hillary and Jeb, you're running against are acting like that, too. That's why they're the front runners. No, they're the front runners because of the money and the media saying they are, or they were till Trump came along. So it's all about this con game. And I likened it telling my cousin hiking Buckley, no relation to William F. Buckley, but named after him. Hiking up this hill, I said it's like Chinese royalty was controlled by saying you got to live in a forbidden city, you can't feed yourself, you got to bind your feet, you got to have foot long fingernails, that's the style. You've got to speak in an affected, wimpy ac accent. That's what people behind the throne do in every dynasty by the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth dynasty. I don't care if it's Russian royalty, German royalty, Japanese royalty. French royalty, Chinese royalty, Aztec royalty, they end up being these imprisoned, cloistered creatures uh, up in their tower. For their protection, that's what the nanny state is, too. We're all being put into a prison for our own safety. And, and, and Rand Paul's been put in his little political prison with his bound feet. Isn't he pretty? And his little Chinese bow and his long fingernails. And he... He walks around like this, and they sit there and they feed him his little attendants like a bunch of bugs carrying the brain bug in. Uh, in uh, we take you now live to Clandethu, Star Trek, Starship Troopers. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Star Trek Troopers. <laughs> That's teleprompter free, baby. There's no teleprompter in here. <laughs> so it's just frustrating. I mean, Rand Paul will go to the head of the pack. When he starts telling people to shut up, they get in his face. When he starts talking about the traitors in government, people don't want a feat gentlemanliness anymore. They want leaders that are going to take action. And that doesn't mean you can't do it in a gentlemanly way. But Rand Paul, you're going to lose if you don't get aggressive. Do it and do it now. I mean, Rand Paul thanked me on air. I remember after he won the election, and he told me privately on the phone. He goes, no, I got to hand it to you. You, my dad, and a few others saying you'd support me, help me go ahead and decide to run. I really didn't think I'd win. I thought we'd educate people about policies like my dad's done. And I remember telling him, I go, you will win. We can help you raise millions. It's going to happen. Just be hardcore. The establishment's going to attack you. That's what will make people vote for you when they come after you. Don't let it intimidate you. I gave him real hardcore political advice from the street, from the gutter, from the gut, from the real world, where I come from. There were no advisors telling me how to set all this up. There was nobody there, no staffers to run around following me. And I know what I'm talking about. But look at it. I've been telling Rand Paul for a year to act aggressive and now trump has shown you that i'm right it's sitting right there in front of you and don't be above adopting strategies and i know full well Rand paul is a guy's guy and drinks beer and whatever but he's got the doctor's affect of acting real gentlemanly and calming his patients the patients don't need to be calmed doctor let your hair down show people who you really are Get in there and kick Trump's ass if you want to win this thing. That's all I'm saying. I'm done ranting about Rand Paul. That's my message to him. But the, the coup de grace, the cherry on top, what pushed me over the edge to say all that, was coming in here and reading the Washington Post praising you of what a smarty pants you are. The, the Washington Post is your friend, right? They were attacking you when you were the leader. Now they're going, that's right. You tie the bowling balls to your legs and you jump in the North Atlantic. That's how you swim. Never mind this life jacket. Yes, we put the bowling balls on. Now, 
Now, padlock them, throw the key away. Yeah, just that plank right over there. Just go over to that. Just get on it. And then jump off right in there. And, and then that's how you're going to win. Oh, you need help carrying the bowling balls? Here, let us help you. Oh, we're your friends, see? <laughs> it's kind of like a good fellas where he's telling her he wants to kill her. And he goes, just go in there. Got some free fur coats. Yeah, yeah, just right, right in the door, right there. It's uh, a... <laughs> Have, I'm sorry. They have like the sword all sharpened and aimed at his heart. Sir, if you just fall forward right on this, it'll fix all your problems, and you'll be president of the United States. Uh, all those people up there in D.C. are there to try to keep their job and get hired by the next politician. We're going to go to break. We're going to come back. Uh, Swedish MP says make people... Garages into immigrant housing and make them keep them. Germany small towns fill the cost of Europe's migrant crisis. And if you don't like it, you're racist. You're going to pay. And that's in the New York Times. So we're going to be going over all of that after the break. Uh, briefly, I may not have time to plug this now, but uh, Silver Bullet is just an amazing system that a lot of folks use as an alternative or when antibiotics don't work they use it i know that's what i've done personally with a chest cold that i couldn't get rid of my dad couldn't get rid of a year and a half ago killed my uncle and it was really bad the hospitals were full of people you knew it was a real pandemic because the media wouldn't cover it and i just drank two bottles of it i'm not saying you should do that that's probably toxic consult your physician but if you're in an emergency situation whatever small dosages of it topically whatever it's amazing ancients have known forever that silver is really good InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. The special ends today. 30% off. Ends today at midnight. 30% off colloidal silver. One bottle or get two bottles and get the other two for free. That's 50% off. So your choice, InfoWarsLife.com or 888 888-253-3139. And you're supporting a hardcore organization, teleprompter free, dedicated to letting it all hang out and just attacking the enemy. We're in this position because we lay it down to these folks that tell us they control reality, that they're our bosses. No, you're not. You're a bunch of control freak cult members, and I'm not listening to anything you have to say, scum. Yeah, what Rand Paul needs to do with Donald Trump and Hillary is come straight on for him. He needs to call for Hillary's indictment. He needs to come out and out Trump Trump and be more hardcore and basically make the same statements because that's what he really stands for. We know he's the bona fide. We know, Senator, you're a for real constitutionalist, paleoconservative libertarian. But you've got to get down in the arena with Trump and, and not attack him because just like I told Politico, I said you should have attacked Rand Paul by endorsing him. But you're too arrogant to do that. See, if you attack Trump, that only makes him more popular. You don't attack him. You obscure him by being more populist, more red meat, more hardcore. You come out and you steal his thunder. Now, I'm done talking about it. We'll put this video up on YouTube tonight. We'll put it on InfoWars. I'm going to send it to Rand Paul's office. And Lord knows his gatekeepers will try to keep him from seeing it. And I don't have anything against the people in his office. Some of them are good. I know some of them. A lot of them, you know, work for Tucker Carlson. Uh, and I'm not saying he's a bad guy. He overall is a good libertarian guy. But he's tried to work with the system. And he understands the whole system's coming down, folks. This is the time for hardcore rhetoric. This is the time people are ready for the truth. You're not going to counter the authoritarian left that wants to ban the term mother and father and that is shipping illegals in illegally by talking about how much you love the immigrants so you get their vote. They're not going to vote for you, Rand, because you're a libertarian and don't want to give them big welfare checks. They're going to vote for the Democratic Party because that's whose houses they live at when they first get here for six months. The Democrats get them ID cards, get them on welfare peel off part of the money, and put it back into the machine. It's a mafia. It's Acorn. It's Battleground Texas caught on video openly admitting all this. The illegals live with the Democrats and are made their slaves. The Democrats are basically farming them, 
milking them, using them as cutouts to get tax refund checks. You can't counter that. You have to defeat it or the whole country goes down. And speaking of that, hundreds of migrants a day, illegal aliens coming into Europe are now dying when their boats capsize because they're so desperate that they'll put 200 people in a boat that should have 50 or 100 in it. And Europe's giving them free housing, free welfare, you name it, in almost every case. That's what's drawing them there. And our media just keeps saying there's no worldwide collapse even as this happens. And here it is, out of mainstream news, television, in Sweden, Swedish MP, make people's garages into immigrant housing. MP Frederick Schulte said in Parliament last Friday, make people house them. Here is the New York Times. Germany's small towns feel the cost of Europe's migrant crisis. But you try to act like Donald Trump is a kook for not wanting every felon on the planet trying to come here. Germany, even as European officials struggle with an unrelenting tide of migrants, not illegals, they're migrants, they're just migrating. They're going to migrate right into your house, trying, they're to get your paycheck, to enter the continent, tranquil villages like this one, there's a photo, a picture, book, valley in northern Bavaria are coping with the legions who have already arrived, and you get to pay for it. It's a tiny town of a thousand people, and now there are thousands of illegals, and it gives examples in the towns. Imagine, you're a town of a thousand people. You have your own culture, you're a tourist destination, your family's been there for 20 generations. All of a sudden, there's 2,000 brand new people that just came off boats, just standing there, and you're going to pay for it. <laughs> you're going to pay for it. Go back to Europe. Go back, Pilgrim. Oh, wait, you are from Europe. Sorry. Bye-bye. You can look this up. But about 10 years ago, Spain, beautiful country, a lot of resources, smart people, amazing culture. Spain adopted carbon taxes and shut down more than half its coal power plants and put in windmills. I guess so Don Quixote could try to chop them down. And it was a boondoggle to select interest. And now Spain has 45% unemployment and people under 30 Spain is, except in a few areas, uh, like Barcelona, collapsing. And that's admitted. And they're outlawing free speech. They're outlawing any criticism of government. You name it. They're arresting people. Even mainstream news says it's now Orwellian. But it's leftist. But notice it's fascist. And I was in Spain, and we have footage of this. We haven't put it out yet. We're making a documentary. But it'll be out very soon, and they would just march over and threaten to arrest Rob Dew in Barcelona because the police were like 60, 70 yards away in the shot with their submachine guns at a famous cathedral. And we were actually shooting the cathedral, not them. And they said, under the new rules, we can do this. But they bring the people in. Now migrant target ferries to the UK. Hundreds cause mile-long traffic jam before riot police surround jungle and block access to the terminal. And you watch these footage. I mean, there are countless videos of people having their trucks carjacked, their trucks broken into, and the police will do nothing because it's politically incorrect to stop a, quote, migrant. A migrant has a right to come into your country. A migrant has a right to come into your house. And again, according to the leftist communist ideology. And even though the globalists are mega banks, and even though Hillary's now in control, they haven't forgotten their SDS roots from the 60s. The founder of Black Lives Matter, the, the inspiration is on the FBI's most wanted list for killing a cop and being part of organizing the killing of other police in random murders. Inspiration behind Black Lives Matter is on the FBI's most wanted list, terror list, convicted cop killer, is BLM's ideological guru, they say. And again, even when these hardcore communists get control, they just want to wreck everything.
They don't even want to maintain their control of the country. They just want to run it over the edge of a cliff.